we've spent these last 13 weeks going, you know, doing a little bit from each chapter and saying what they are. And, uh, and then also mentioning just this week, I think I've got a, I I've got an almost complete list of the various media um, appearances that are going to be um, dropping this week that I think people might be interested in. You know, some of them will appeal to some and some to others. Um, and um, I think you and I sort of agreed about a couple of them seeming particularly um, insightful. Particularly I insightful. think one thing that has been interesting is how different they've all been. There haven't been two that have been alike. That's right. Which yeah. Is- which is a good sign, I think. Yeah. Um, and so this list that I'm going to read is not all the ones that we've done. It includes some we haven't yet done, um, but it's just the ones that I understand will be released this week or already have been. Um, so, you know, Joe Rogan is is out. Um, we were in Dallas uh, meeting Glenn Beck, and I believe um, he is putting that out today. And um, tomorrow, uh, our conversation with Derek Jensen of Deep Green Resistance is going to be out. And then on uh, launch day, Mind and Matter with Nick Jacomes. And I do want to come back to those three because those three were really remarkable conversations. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Glenn Beck is obviously on the right, um, famously conservative. And Derek Jensen is a, a radical environmental leftist. And um, and so, and we've got, you know, we've, we've just got this sort of gamut um, of, of political ideology represented uh, among people whom we are interested in talking to, you know, our politics are closer to, to Derek's, um, but we find all of these people just extraordinary to talk to. Um, so also, um, Megan Kelly on launch date will be live with her. Uh, the unspeakable podcast with Megan Dom will be out this week. Um, I believe you're going to be br- very briefly on Tucker Carlson on launch date. Um, the Michaela Peterson podcast will be out this week, the Federalist, The Skeptic with Michael Shermer, that was also a very good conversation. Impact Theory with Tom Bilyeu, also a really good conversation. We'll be live with Trigonometry. Um, And the Deborah So podcast, very good conversation. And there's going to be a lovely interview and excerpt published in Root Quarterly in their forthcoming issue. So did you want to say anything about uh, Glenn Beck, Derek Jensen, or uh, Nick Jacomes with Mind and Matter? Three very different um, well, I, I think, you know, your grouping is an interesting one. Yeah. And I think it, it sort I mean, of We enjoyed all of them and they've all been very different. They were, all, those they three. were all excellent conversations. Yeah. And, you know, there was no, there was no sense with, uh, you know, Glenn Beck was very clear about what the political distinctions between us likely were and how little it matters in light of the kinds of questions that uh, we are faced with. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he did give the sense of being a very genuine, deep, caring person who feels bad for certain features of his history and is very Mm -hmm. interested in making the world better as he sees that possibility. Um, So anyway, I think people are going to enjoy that conversation. Um, Even though I wildly flubbed his question about our deep history chapter. Um, so this was a, this, I, I'll just say before you go on talking about the other two, um, the chapter that actually we wrote first and that I just, I loved, I loved writing the deep history chapter, which basically says, okay, here's where life started and let's do a quick run through, through the human lineage back from 3.5 billion years ago. And it was, you know, 6,000 words isn't much to write that history. And then um, he basically said, you, you want to you wanna summarize that? And I was like, oh, I promise not to take three and a half billion years to summarize it, but I sort of got lost around animals and then you picked it up and started talking about something no, else. So I, we never got back to it. We didn't even get to talk about the origin of, you know, bones and heart and brains, but anyway. Uh, it, it was a very difficult question, um, which, you know, it's a little bit like, uh, yeah, could you summarize what happened at Evergreen in five minutes? And, you know, fair enough. Like, well, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but he, I'm not sure how much there is to say. I think people should listen to these conversations. Well, and, so um, Derek Jensen, um, it's an, it's an hour ish long conversation. And um, he, you know, he, he like, you know, Glenn Beck, like I think they have they have very little in common at one level, except I think that both of them could actually talk to each other just as we can talk very easily to both of them. Um, uh, appreciated the book. You know, he's got a background, I think, an undergraduate degree in physics um, and is an you know active environmentalist. Um, but uh, but he doesn't consider himself a scientist. And he he reported that he felt like we really um, went deep on important scientific uh, theories and principles and explained it in a way that he could understand and relay them. So I really appreciate that. And then Nick Jacobs is himself a, a scientist. And we had like a three-hour conversation with him in which he, you know, he went 
almost point by point, you know, obviously you can't do all the points in the book, but we did really a, a, a sort of a thorough review of many of the salient points in the book. Yeah, it was great. And it, it, yeah, I think that that is a, a good point, sort of a continuum between a technical exploration of the book and a generalist survey. And, you know, one thing that we were shooting for in writing the book was a book that was accessible at all these levels that actually does contribute new ideas that are significant and change the way we should view ourselves and our evolutionary nature. Um, but that is accessible to people who don't have any background and want to to dive in and, you know, figure out what the the toolkit that we generated and taught to students really allows you to see. And, you know, it has very practical advice about how you should change your approach to various things. So anyway, it's a little early to know whether we've succeeded, but those conversations are suggestive that maybe, maybe we did. 